Hey, I'm Steve with Prima Coffee, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Ranchilio Rocky. As you can see by the design, it is made to sort of fit really well with your Ranchilio Silvia espresso machine, which is an entry-level espresso machine. Uh, and this is your entry-level espresso grinder. Uh, it is really affordable as far as espresso grinders go. Like the Silvia, the Ranchilio Rocky has been around for more than 20 years, so it is tried and true. Uh, and it is still being made and it still works really well. It is a solid build. This is a metal body here. Uh, the plastic parts are gonna be just sort of on the uh, accessories, you got your shoe, you have your tray here, uh, and this large hopper, plastic lid, plastic hopper. It is really easy to take apart for cleaning. Uh, you just need a Phillips head here to take off that chute, uh, and it does collect some of that retention uh, right there at the top of the chute, uh, and then behind that where there is, you can kind of see it there, a, a little silicone gasket uh, to make sure that no coffee gets down into the body of the grinder, but it does collect some between the burrs uh, and right there on the front of the chute. And all you need is a flathead screwdriver to get into the burrs. Um, you will go ahead and take off the hopper first uh, by taking out those three screws, uh, and then you'll just be able to unscrew uh, the, the stationary burr, uh, which is on threads. Uh, so very easy to take apart for cleaning. As far as functioning goes here, uh, you can see that it has this metal portafilter holder. Um, However, we find that it actually does not fit even, this is the Ranchilio Silvia uh, portafilter. It is 58 uh, millimeters. It doesn't fit this one perfectly. So if you try to put it in through the front, you'll see that it doesn't. You have to kind of put it at an angle. But if you do it at an angle, it does fit. Um, so that's not really that big of an issue. We have a 57 millimeter portafilter here. Um, and you can see that one does fit in there. So uh, depending on your machine, this may or, or may not fit perfectly in there. You may actually just have to hold it when you are dosing out. The Rocky does not grind automatically. It does not grind by time. It does not grind by weight. You actually have to hold down the grind button the entire time that you want it to dose out. Ranchilio says that it is about one gram per second that this can grind out. Uh, but we find that on espresso, when we had uh, dialed it in for our espresso machine over here at 18 grams, uh, that it was actually coming out about one and a half grams per second. To adjust the grind on the Rocky, there is a tab over here on the left-hand side, and just press that down. It frees up uh, the threads there. Turn it clockwise if you want to go finer, counterclockwise if you want to go coarser, and then it should click into place, which means this is a stepped grind adjustment system, not a stepless grind adjustment system. So if you're looking to make those really tiny changes for your espresso, this may not be the grinder for you. Um, because we found that when we had dialed this in for our espresso, about 18 grams in, 40 grams out, when we changed it, when we went one step on here coarser, uh, the difference was about seven seconds. So we'd have to make up for those seven seconds uh, with the dose if that's what we wanted to do. However, this again, this is an entry level grinder uh, and it does its job really well. So that brings us to the burrs. The Rocky has 50 millimeter flat steel burrs in here. Uh, and those burrs are cut more for espresso. So we see this primarily as an espresso grinder. We have read that some people do use it uh, to go coarser for brewing. Uh, and it can do that as you get up toward 40. So in the 30s uh, and all the way up to 40, you will find that you can have a grind that you might use for pour over or for Chemex or something like that. But the trade-off there is that because it's really good, these burrs are really good at producing fines. Um, again, as an espresso grinder, espresso burrs, uh, when you get up there, it still is producing fines um, that sort of stick to those larger uh, boulders or, or larger particles. Uh, and so that your cup might not be as clean as you want it to be. So we're recommending this for espresso and just telling you that caveat if you want to use it for brewing. So as far as retention goes, we're finding that um, the Rocky will retain about one-tenth of a gram to one-half a gram on average. So sometimes you're going to have uh, more than that. Um, and usually you can see it again, stuck there at the top of the chute. Um, sometimes you're going to get more coffee out of here than what you put in if you're single dosing. Um, and that just means that, again, some of that retained coffee that is probably either right in front of the burrs behind that gasket there, um, or, or again, that you can see here has been, has been pushed out. Uh, but again, on average, about one-tenth to half uh, of a gram. Uh, we have 20 grams here. I'll put in here. Uh, begin to grind, turn it on the side, and then you have to hold this button the whole time that you're grinding.
So you can see here that the retention or some of the retention is right there. So we kind of give it a couple of taps here. If you don't mind, again, rocking your grinder, you're probably going to get more of that out. Uh, and we have 19.3. Now this brings us to another kind of interesting, so that's 0.7. Again, I can see it so I can rock that out. But the other issue is that I can see right here that the screw holes in the hopper uh, is large enough, sort of just perfectly large enough to catch beans. Um, so each of these screw holes right now has caught a bean. And so you're going to want something around like a little screwdriver uh, where you can basically knock those out um, and get those down into the burrs. And then we can go ahead and see if we can get the rest of that out here. So there's 19.7. So again, if you got closer on here, you'd be able to see that there is still some coffee stuck right there in the chute. That is just the design of this chute. Um, and that is why you're going to want to have uh, a screwdriver around uh, every once in a while to go ahead and clear that out or a brush that you can use um, to push up in there and, and clear out that retention. So that is the Rocky from Ranchilio. It is an entry level espresso grinder. It looks really good next to your Silvia, which is an entry level uh, espresso machine. Uh, you can find it in both black and in silver. It is a step grind adjustment, so there will be some trade offs. But again, it is a really great price. You can find this online at primacoffee.com. Thanks for watching.